Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain uh, how to uh, perform mediating effect using PLS SCM. Uh, so in this case, first we're going to explain what is a mediating effect or mediator as such. So here we have uh, uh, three latent variables. Uh, so we expect a direct relationship between uh, variable one and variable three. And um, we are uh, sort of uh, using variable two as a mediator variable. Now, why to use mediating effect or mediator? Uh, the one possible reason that you can uh, think of is, you know, sometimes you expect a positive relationship between variable one and variable three. But when you run the analysis, you might see a negative relationship and you might wonder what is going on, why this is negative when you were expecting it, uh, it to be a positive uh, relationship. So in that case, uh, you know, that mistake could be solved by using a mediating variable, which explains the, you know, uh, <coughs> which explains the, the missing piece of the puzzle. And that is going to explain uh, the f sort of, you know, full meaning of uh, the relationship between V1, variable one and variable three. So you'll see that, okay, there is a negative relationship. And the reason for that is because variable is affecting variable two, which in turn is variable, uh, which in turn is affecting variable three. And that is going to explain the, the missing piece of the puzzle. And that's where uh, as such uh, mediators are used. Um, so, um, so for example, here, again, the focus here is not to explain the concept in deep. Um, viewers are requested to uh, go through various resources, uh, read different books or, you know, you watch different YouTube videos to clear the concept. The focus here is more on how to perform uh, mediating effect uh, analysis in a smart PLS. So let's say we want to evaluate whether a uh, variable to, um, is mediating the direct relationship between one and three. So the direct effect uh, between variable one, latent variable one and uh, variable three is uh, given by uh, P1, okay. So, so that's a, that's a direct effect, okay? And um, the indirect effect of uh, variable one on variable three is given by this path coefficient. So P2 and P3, okay? So that's an indirect effect. So a variable one has a direct effect of P2 on V2, and V2 has a direct effect of P3 on V3. So P3, P1, P2, they're all the coefficients. So to find out the indirect effect of variable one and variable three, you have to multiply these two coefficients, okay? So if you multiply uh, path coefficient two with path coefficient three, you get the indirect effect of variable one on variable three. So uh, that's something you have to keep in mind. Um, so in order to evaluate the mediating effect, you need to see whether this indirect effect, which is the product of P2 and P3 is significant or not. So if the indirect effect is not significant, but the direct effect is significant, so the product of P2 and P3 not significant, but P1 is significant, that means there is no mediating effect. We just have a direct main effect, okay? Uh, but if, um, if indirect effect is significant and the direct effect is not significant, so you see that this path is significant, uh, which is uh, denoted by the product of P2 and P3, but P1 is not significant. That means we have a total mediation. So this this path is not uh, significant. So so the relationship is uh, explained totally via V2. Uh, between uh, the relationship between V1 and V3 is totally explained by the variable V2. That that's what it means. Total mediation. Now, the other possible uh, uh, possible thing is, you know, the both indirect effect, which is P2 times P3 and P1, they are significant. So both indirect and direct um, effects are significant. So in that case, what you need to do is you need to calculate the product of P2 times P3, the indirect effect and the direct effect. So you're gonna do P2 times P3, which is the indirect effect times the direct effect. And if that combination uh, gives you a positive value, we call it that, we have a complementary mediation. If that combination gives you a negative value, that means we have a competitive mediation. 
and uh, obviously this this both the things are sort of telling you that there is a partial mediation going on not the total mediation that's something you have to keep in mind so with that uh, little bit of basics here let's go back to pls scm and continue with our analysis so detail about this thing uh, is already uh, shown in my earlier videos so viewers are requested to watch my earlier videos before coming to this video so this is the first model we created so we have all first order constructs here satisfaction <coughs> higher level of satisfaction leading to higher level of affective commitment which in turn leading to higher level of retention and satisfaction uh, will have a direct positive relationship on retention as well so that's a that's our research question so what we're going to do is we want to see that whether uh, the, the commitment is playing any kind of mediating role um, when it comes to defining the relationship between satisfaction and retention so what we're going to do here is we're going to run our algorithm here since we have all first order construct here, I'm going to use the path weighing scheme here. Missing values, I'm going to use case wise deletion and I'm going to say start here. So uh, we have this relationship here. We have the path coefficient here. Uh, these are the path coefficient. We don't know whether they are significant or not, especially this one is very, uh, very low very close to zero so we don't know whether that is significant or not but for that we had to run bootstrap so i'm going to go ahead and run the bootstrap here so bootstrap also uh, i'm going to do the complete bootstrapping two tail 0 0.05 significance level uh, i'm going to use the pathway uh, scheme here uh, missing values case wise deletion here and we're going to do the start calculation <clears throat> so we got the results here uh, now it's showing me the p value with the uh, with the coefficient so we see that all these three are significant uh so the indirect effect of satisfaction on retention via commitment is going to be given by the product of uh, these two coefficient and we can show it here let's say so i'm gonna say 0 0.583 times 0 0.563 so 0 0.328 uh, is the indirect effect of satisfaction on retention via commitment and the direct effect is uh 0.062 the direct effect is significant the, all the direct effects are significant but we don't know whether this indirect effect is significant or not for that we have to look at the confidence interval uh, for the bootstrapping procedure uh, if this is significant which i know is significant that means we're gonna have some sort of uh, partial mediation going on so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the bootstrapping here we're gonna see the specific indirect effect which is 0.328 we just calculated and that's significant so indirect effect is significant here obviously so we have a partial mediation going on because indirect effect is significant and the direct effect is significant also uh, but the direct effect is very mild uh, compared to indirect effect so indirect effect has more pronounced uh, impact on retention uh, so uh, so if you multiply the indirect effect uh, and the direct effect which both are being positive uh, so the product of p all these three coefficients is going to be positive also that means we have what we call competitive uh, i'm sorry complementary mediation that's been interpreted here complementary mediation which means that uh, if you want to interpret the results here which means that um, satisfaction does lead to higher retention but the impact is not that high directly but um, satisfaction often lead higher satisfaction often leads to higher level of commitment which in turn leads to higher level of retention so if you are a marketing or i'm sorry if you are a human resource manager right satisfaction of employees are important no doubt about that but you can also focus on uh, the commitment you want to make sure that they're committed to their work and you're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that the commitment level goes up because that will help you uh, retain your employees uh, just satisfaction might not lead to uh, retention uh, 
you know in terms of uh, the strength of the relationship because very mild here so that's something you have to keep in mind now here we did the first order construct here now let's do the similar thing with the second order construct so this is another model we built uh, please watch my earlier videos for the details here the focus is on uh, focus is on the mediating effect of commitment on the relationship for satisfaction and retention so it, since we are using higher order constructs we have to do some tweaking to the algorithm we're going to say we're going to use factor weighing scheme because that uh, that gives you more stable results compared to path uh, weighing scheme when you have higher order construct so and the missing value here we're going to do the case wise deletion here uh, because we have a lot of missing cases we have 65000 observation out of which 51000 um, observations are miss have missing values so we cannot impute them because again imputation with the mean value might uh, take out all the variation in the data and uh, it will render any kind of statistics uh, you know sort of meaningless so we're going to use case wise deletion and even after that we're going to have almost 10000 observation which is pretty huge so we're going to do the start calculation here and it's going to take some time <coughs> so uh, coming back to this one we see the similar structure here uh, again the focus of this video is not uh, sort of um, va validating the measurement model and the structural model for that we have uh, uh, we have recorded other videos that you are requested to look at uh, my earlier videos so here with the focus is on the mediating effect as such and uh, again we have to run the bootstrapping uh, procedure to get the p-values here so I'm gonna do the bootstrapping here um, I'm just running 200 samples but in reality if you are doing the real research project the recommended value is 5000 that's something you have to keep in mind so it's gonna be two tail test 0 0.05 significance label we're gonna use factor weighing scheme here missing values are being deleted uh, all the observations are being deleted with the missing values here we're gonna do the start calculation here this is gonna take some time maybe you know 10 to 15 seconds should be pretty fast uh, so once this is done then we can sort of interpret the the mediating effect with the higher order construct <laughs> So this is done here. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the satisfaction retention model. So we have the p-values. So all the direct effects are significant. Satisfaction has a direct effect on retention, and satisfaction has a direct and significant impact on commitment. Positive, um, positive impact, and the commitment has a direct positive impact on retention, which means higher level of commitment leads to higher level of retention. And we need to see whether the indirect effect is significant or not. So for that, we have to go to the bootstrapping results, specific indirect effect. And uh, so we have to worry about this one. Uh, satisfaction commitment and retention because these are all uh, we are know that you know commitment is a higher order construct so this is not going to make much of a difference okay uh, that's not uh, the sort of dependent variable the other dependent variable is the retention uh, so this is this is 0 0.25 0 0.256 and it's significant so indirect effect is significant and uh, since that is significant here uh, the direct effect is also significant so it's a partial mediation but uh, but the strength of indirect relationship uh, is stronger uh, because the coefficient is bigger so again we see that some partial mediation going on and if you do the product uh, of this value here 0 0.256 with uh, the direct effect uh, of 0 0.132 both are positive so the product is going to be positive that means we have again complementary uh, mediation so this is very similar to what we saw here in this model the only difference here is you know uh, we are using higher order construct commitment uh, which is being uh, uh, sort of uh, 
um, uh, formed using three uh, reflective sub constructs. So it's a reflective reflective higher order construct here. Uh, so uh, so that's uh, pretty much it. This is what you're gonna write in in your in your result that <coughs> satisfaction does have a positive impact on retention, but the strength of the relationship is more via commitment. So commitment is sort of me mediating the relationship between satisfaction and retention. That's something you need to write it down. Um, obviously, you have to write other details as well about the validation, about your measurement model validation and structural model validation, and then you can comment on the mediating effect. So with this, I'm gonna stop this video here. Thank you very much for listening.